Hi, this is Chris Pendleton, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about short sales. Short sales is a complicated real estate transaction that a lot of people don't really have a good grasp on exactly what a short sale is. So first of all, let's talk about what is a short sale. A short sale is a situation in which the lender agrees to take less than what the payoff amount is on a loan in a real estate transaction. Um, there's a couple of different components to why a short sale actually occurs. Typically, the first part is that the borrower has some sort of hardship. Um, it could be a loss of job, uh, death of a spouse, uh, a divorce, um, mounting credit bills such as medical. Um, that really kind of has put the person into a situation when they can no longer afford to make the minimum monthly payment on the loan. Accompanied with the fact that here in the Tucson area that we have seen a decline in the values of homes. That between 2008 and 2009 uh, we've seen about an 18.6% decrease in values. So when the person who has the hardship needs to sell their home, uh, what they find is that the amount that they can sell their home for doesn't cover the amount of money that is owed to the bank um, or other type of uh, other lender and then what has to happen at that point in time is that there has to be some negotiation uh, with the bank to actually accept um, less than what is owed and release or satisfy um, the loan uh, to the borrower. There are other situations in which the borrower may not be able to continue to afford the home. A real common type of loan that was written in 2005 and 2006 are the adjustable rate mortgages. And those mortgages now are starting to adjust and the, while the borrower may be making the same amount of money uh, you know, per year in their job, all of a sudden their, their house payment uh, goes up dramatically, making them unable to continue to afford it. We're going to continue to see those adjustable rate mortgages um, adjust in 2009 uh, well into 2010. And because of many of these adjustable rate mortgages were based upon 100% financing, um, all of those people then are really upside down in, in, their, in their mortgages. Uh, making them uh, prime candidates for short sales because they can no longer afford them. So let's take a look at the benefits to a lender. Why would a lender take less uh, than the amount owed on a loan? Obviously they don't want to do that and they do try to um, you know, get as much money as they can uh, through the real estate transaction. Probably some of the benefits are, uh, first of all, it reduces their bad debt. Uh, that many institutions, their investors, put a cap on the amount of debt, bad debt that the institution can have. And by um, settling this, this transaction and getting it written off um, solves that issue and they, they can move on. Uh, probably a more compelling reason for an institution is they don't really want to be property owners. It saves them from the, the whole foreclosure process uh, they don't have to pay all the legal fees um, and they don't have to pay for the cooperation of the previous owner to possibly move out. In addition, that uh, many foreclosed properties are, are damaged and not clean and the banks have to go in and rehab a property prior to actually selling and the foreclosure property typically sells for less than the properties uh, on the market that are listed as, as short sales. And so the short sale is really the bank's uh, last uh, possibility of getting the most money for that property on the open market.